This is Matthew McConaughey. Natalie Portman. James Patterson. Michael Ian Black. And you are listening to Five Questions with Dan Chabell. Noah, welcome to Five Questions. Hi, thank you. So happy to be here. What was it about the Broadway show Annie that influenced you to start your career as an actor? Oh my God, it's so funny you asked that because I just watched the the movie, the re- remake they just made, and I and I was thinking about that like a few days ago. But um, it was you know it was Sadie Sink who I work with now, who's actually playing Annie in the show, and I remember just watching her and just feeling the love and falling in love for this career. And I didn't really know it yet, but I just, there was some bug in me that sparked and it made me have a passion and I, and I wanted to chase it. So I remember just watching the show and being like, telling my parents, how, how do I do this? How do I sign up? Um, and so I started doing plays. That's kind of where I started with acting. And I did like off Broadway stuff and plays in my school. Um, I took an acting class and then it kind of went from there. It's amazing. And you've obviously accomplished so much in such a short period of time, even though for you, it must feel like forever. Yeah, no, it's crazy. Definitely, definitely always amazes me. And it's always good to kind of look up to other actors and actresses to help inspire yeah, you totally. as, as well as film. It's crazy to me that I, that I watched um, Sadie, who now I work with on Stranger Things. It just comes full circle. That's great. And what are your expectations, hopes, and desired outcomes for, for your college experience? Oh. Um, I hope to learn a lot and grow and become more independent. And I'm excited to move out from my parents. <laughs> wow. You know, I don't blame you. I was very excited yeah. to move out from my parents. <laughs> they, they can definitely be a pain. I know they're going to listen to this too, uh, but yeah. And you, at, at school, you're going to also focus on entrepreneurship and you have a business, the, to be honest company or TBH. Uh, how do you manage being an entrepreneur and also being an actor? Um, I mean, I think it's, I'm so used to balancing a lot of things on my plate between kind of school and then all the different things in my career. And I think it's just, I, I, I see it as like a fun challenge. I, I, I love being busy and when I'm not, I, I, I hate it. So um, I think I have a good team behind me, good support system who helps me manage and balance everything. And I just, you know, stay focused and, and it's all been going great so far. I don't know about you, but I really hate being bored. Like yeah. I always hate anytime when I was bored as a kid, I got in trouble. And so I'm just trying to keep as busy as possible. Sounds like me. Even, even though, like, I see a lot of studies that say if you're bored, you're, you can be more creative. I don't know if I buy that. I think I'm creative enough. <laughs> yeah, no, no. But I, I hate being bored. I, that's when my mischievous side comes out. Exactly. Uh, in what ways have you and Millie Bobby Brown supported each other in your careers? And what have you learned from her? How have we what you spent? In what ways have you and Millie Bobby Brown supported each other in your careers? And what have you learned from her? Um, I mean, we support each other just through this whole kind of, it, it's really nice to have, not specifically Millie, but all the Stranger Things kids kind of relate to me. And we, we all grew up together on this show. So we all kind of have this special connection with each other that like I would never have with anyone else. So I think it's just nice to, be able to go to them and have them to support me when I'm overwhelmed or confused or don't know how to do something or, or handle myself. Um, they've all been there. And of course, Millie has become my best friend through this whole process. And it's just really uh, nice and heartwarming to have a, a cast that you can work with and also love and have great chemistry and real chemistry on screen and behind the screen. Yeah, it kind of reminds me of like Seth Rogen and a lot of his peers, you know, when he was early in an act as an actor, he still works with a lot of them today. And I think that that network that you formed yeah. as people kind of do their totally. own thing, you might be brought in for one project or you might bring yeah. someone no. for a project. And exactly. so long term, you can see this playing out in, in really profound, exciting ways. Yeah, for sure. I mean, me and Millie have made promises to each other that after Stranger Things, we will work in each other's movies so we will be a working duo for a long time i love that and you have great chemistry too which helps yeah. and what's your best piece of career advice 
not to follow your passion? Is that what we? <laughs> so what do you what do you do and say? <laughs> I would say, well, I would just say, I guess, don't give up. I mean, I, I know in this industry, it's it sounds corny, but it's true because it's like there's so many kids who have who go through so many auditions and so many no's, and and there's just it's such a long process until you can finally be successful and and get your first movie and. I think kids who want to make it in this industry just have to keep at it and keep auditioning and they will um, be successful if they just keep their, keep focused. Yeah. Never give up. It's like yeah. timeless advice. And especially in your industry, it's so hard. So if you give up, you're definitely not going to make it because even if you have a successful show, that's, there's no guarantee that you'll continue to get successful shows for the next 10 years or anything. Yeah. No, totally. And I think just, um, being a, a good person is very important. And um, yeah, I, I think keeping your friends close, I, like Millie and everyone on set, I think I hope to stay close with for a long time. Well, that's great advice. And thank you so much for being on the show. Thank you. Yeah, thank you for having me. 